My nudes got leaked when I was 13. Growing up was tough for Joanna, and verbal abuse was common. I was like a really big girl. I was about 104 kgs heavy. And in school, I had no friends. The other children refused to even sit next to me. Nasty comments like, oh, she's fat. I'm pretty sure that she's smelly as well. And it wasn't just other children giving insults. Teachers came up to me saying, Joanna, why don't you go to the classroom and fetch my bag so that you lose a little bit of weight. Having no real friends in real life, Joanna turned elsewhere. At that time, Facebook was the main platform that a lot of people were using. So I thought to myself, since I could not make friends in person, maybe making friends online would be better. I came across this guy and he seemed pretty friendly. And one day he said, hey, I think I kind of like you. You want to be in a relationship with me? Joanna couldn't believe she had found someone. At first, the relationship was great, but things soon started to turn. He started saying, oh, you're so far away, that is no intimacy. Can you send me a photo of yourself without wearing anything? Joanna refused, and the emotional blackmail started. The mind games worked. Fearing she would lose him, Joanna gave in. I sent a semi-nude photo of myself to him. It really took a toll on my mental health. I decided to break up with this guy. However, Joanna couldn't have predicted what would happen next. There was a ton of big profiles that came up with my name and that new photo of mine as the profile picture. The repercussions were huge. I was getting harassed in public too. I had men come up to me saying, how much do you charge for a night? And the whole thing went on until I was 15, 16. And just when Joanna thought it was starting to settle, everything resurfaced. I had a phone call from my friend in school He's saying the whole school wall is spray painted with your name on it, saying, Joanna Joseph, your boobs are ugly. At a loss what to do next, Joanna turned to her dad for help. We went to school to speak to the headmistress, and in the end I got blamed for it. My headmistress said that it was my fault that all of this is happening to me. It was only when she finished school, her life took an exciting turn. I entered the modeling industry. When you're plus size as you're younger and you're bullied for that, the thought of being a model would never be there. When I was offered the opportunity, I decided to take it. But during the pandemic, there was a whole new issue that came up where Telegram was used to spread porn materials and news. I decided to create a video online to speak out about what happened to me. It was probably the most difficult thing that I have ever done, but I know that this was also going to reach other women who suffer in silence. I just did not want them to feel alone. I am seen, are you?